if you want to see how we collected these, Benny and I, I put a video up last week. Today, we are going to talk about what we found and cut them on Mr. Clipper here. I did take the liberty of cutting one earlier. That's a little bit of moss, chunky moss. I think that's what it's called, moss agate. I didn't know what it was when I first found it, but I'm happy with how it turned out. Who also cut that one? There's some serious waterline in that. It's just nuts. at him. I won't be cutting this one. I know what it's doing and I don't want to rush into cutting that. Got some pretty lines in there. We found yellowy looking ones with some lines in there as well. Not much carnelian in there. Benny did find a beautiful piece of jasper, green and green and gold. Good for Aussie, for green and gold. I'm still learning cutting. All right, what am I gonna cut? This one, I don't know if it needs to be cut. Uh, oh geez, I'm so confused now what to cut. I'm overthinking it, I think. Well, you know what? One I do know I wanna cut is this guy. What it is, is it's like a Chalcedony mix in there, down the bottom. And on the top was quartz crystals. But because it's been tumbled down a creek, oh yeah, and there's basalt in there. Because it's been tumbled down a creek, that's just smooth. So it might come up with something cool if I cut it through that way. Don't know, but let's try that. Let's try it. Gonna set them right here. Let's pick another one. Um, I have a feeling there's stuff going on in there, but I kind of want to cut it across there to miss this whole dugout bit. Okay. That took way longer than what it was meant to. Uh, I think my tarsal blade is blunt. Got to go to Bunnings and get another blade. Might have to finish this one tomorrow. Should I show you now? Do I see now? Mm. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, that, yeah, that's really cool. So the bottom is like a mix of chalcedony and basalt. We can see the basalt on the inside is trapped, so it stayed like really black. Yeah, that's really pretty. This guy, I, I kind of have a feeling that there's not going to be any bands in there. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Ready? Oh, okay, I'm wrong. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's really pretty. You got the little tubey bits going pew in there. Let's look at its friend. I have a feeling it might be a little bit prettier. Lip. Ooh. They do have the little cut bit there, like a mark where I had to Go top and bottom, two different cuts. That can be cleaned up at another stage, but that, that's really pretty. Oh, that looks cool. Pew, pew, pew. They look like uh, fireworks before they explode. Jeez, agates are beautiful. Even without any color to accentuate those bands. All right, that makes me feel better. All right, I'm gonna go to Bunnings, but we'll hook it back up. I'm back. I got a new blade. Someone else suggested that I could use a, an aquarium water pump and rig it up somehow to be dripping. I 
really do appreciate all the suggestions and um, even though I haven't done anything yet, I don't want anyone to think I'm not listening. I might not have the material right now. Right, let's get back to cutting. Yeah, I'm gonna give that guy a cut. It would only be a very thin cut. Probably just skimming off this and making it flat. We'll see. This one, don't know what that's gonna do on the inside. It's uh, probably not of much use for anything, but I like cutting it because it's exploring the stones a bit. We'll get a slice from that one. I don't even know if I could do this. Yeah, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna try and cut the jasper. We're not gonna cut it massively. I'm just gonna take a skim off that edge. Probably about that much. And let's go one more. We'll cut this one. Legitimately, like legitimately soaking right now. Look at me, I'm soaked. I'm gonna head off now. I've gotta go play some barefoot bowls. But I'll be back and we'll have a look at these. Oh, keeping you in suspense. All right, here they are. It's been a week since I cut these. Ooh, what are they gonna look like? It's exciting. Let's have a look at the green guy. Look at that. Now I only cut just a little heel off of that one. The only thing is, is that this guy was pretty, um, pretty hard to cut given its size and the angle and stuff like that on a small tile saw. It would be better off left now um, for say a slab saw or something like that. But it's got some really pretty patterns going on in there. Yeah, it's beautiful. I really think it's probably one of the better rocks of that video. Don't tell Benny that though. And there's the heel from it. Now I gotta be honest, I have looked at these because it's been a week and I couldn't, I couldn't help it. This one turned out to be not very interesting on the inside. But it's always nice to sort of just have a look. He's got some, uh, he's got some waterline going on there. Really hard to see. If I cup it like that, you can see it a bit better. This has got an inclusion of basalt. It's probably basalt with a little bit of another mineral in there that causes it to go that green color. And technically, it's a nugget. It does have, well, no, not technically. Technically, it's, I don't know. Agate, not agate, pretty, yeah. That's what I'm saying. When I found this, I knew there was waterline in there. You can see it right across there. So it was pretty easy to predict what it would look like on the inside, which is amazing. You got the three different sort of tones. This one is darker. I don't know if you'd call that carnelian. Yeah, and this is definitely an onyx, which is waterline chalcedony, but really just beautiful. Look at those lines. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Look at that. Stunning. It almost looks like a beach scene with the horizon. Oh, I love it with the waves coming in. I could look at it for days. This one. Hello, my friend. Look at the sun coming through that. Even just that's beautiful. But that, what a pretty little agate. A jemmy too. That looks like a sunset too. Here's the other side. Ooh -wee. Beautiful. Oh man, look at the glow of those bands. I 
could have just looked at that on the outside. Look, I don't think the camera does it justice at all. I can see it right now, like the difference is, is astounding. Each one of those bands ends up lining up with a couple of these lines down here as well. Uh, I wish I could speak more about how they're formed, I just really do. Okay, there we go. That was the rocks. I hope you enjoyed it. I loved it. I loved finding them. I loved cutting them. And uh, I loved sharing them. On that note, thank you all seriously so much 